Guide to the Old Testament Part 2 790 years before Christ, war broke out between Judah and Israel. It was around this time that God called Jonah to prophesy against Nineveh, you may recall the story. When Jonah ran away, he was swallowed by a large fish. During the period 750 to 700 BC Amos, Hosea, Isaiah, and Micah began to prophesy against Israel's disobedience, the coming destruction of Jerusalem, and the coming of the Messiah. In the year 640 BC the people made eight-year-old Josiah their king. Josiah got rid of all of the idols, refurbished Solomon's temple reintroduced the law and turned the hearts of the people back to the Lord. Josiah reigned until 609 BC. During Josiah's reign, Zephaniah prophesied the total destruction of Jerusalem and the dispersion of its inhabitants. Joel's prophecy also fits into the storyline here. Prior to the 70-year Babylonian captivity. In 628 BC Jeremiah began to prophesy. In chapter 25 of his book he prophesied that a 70-year captivity was about to take place. Nahum also prophesied about the destruction of Nineveh. Two years after Josiah's reign as king, in 607 BC Habakkuk began to prophesy about the destruction of Jerusalem. Twenty-three years after Josiah's reign, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, besieged Jerusalem. On August the 14th, 586 years before Christ, the total destruction of Jerusalem and the temple began, as prophesied by the prophets. The children of Israel either escaped, were killed, or taken to Babylon to be slaves. Jeremiah wrote five poems about Jerusalem's destruction in a book called Lamentations. Ezekiel was taken to Babylon as a slave where he wrote his book. The main message of Ezekiel's book was that dispersed Israel a valley of dry bones, would one day again be restored as a nation. Daniel was also taken as a slave and the book we know as Daniel, was actually his journal. Scholars also believe that Obadiah's prophecy was written about this time. Eventually, Nebuchadnezzar died, and his son Belshazzar was appointed king. You may recall the incident in Daniel, when the hand wrote on the wall. Mene Tekel Aparson. That was in 539 BC. Belshazzar was killed that same night, when Babylon was captured by the Persians. And Darius was made king. This is when Daniel was made president. At the end of the seventy-year captivity, God spoke to Cyrus the then king of Persia, to set the children of Israel free. The historical records show that a remnant of 43,360 Jews left captivity plus a further 7,337 servants but many Israelites remained, unwilling to leave their property. Nehemiah the king's head waiter left Babylon and started to rebuild the walls in Jerusalem. 520 years before Christ, at the urging of the prophets Haggai and Zechariah, Zerubbabel started to rebuild the temple. It was completed five years later, on March 12, 515 BC and Ezra became the priest. Thirty-six years later in the year 479 BC the Jew Esther, became queen of Persia. It was around this time that Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament was written. The four hundred year period from Malachi to John the Baptist is known as the Silent Years. The temple was in a continual state of disrepair. And the Persian Empire was eventually conquered by the Greeks. Led by Alexander the Great, 334 years before Christ. Eventually the Romans conquered the Greeks and 63 years before the Messiah. The Roman general Pompey the Great, took control of Jerusalem. The whole land of Israel became part of the Roman Empire, just as Daniel had prophesied. Under Herod, 19 years before Christ, the rebuilding of the Third Temple began. The next prophet of Israel was John the Baptist. His message was, Prepare the way for the Lord. Jesus had arrived. The Old Testament was over, and the New Testament had begun. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe to Animated Bible Stories and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.